so friends now we discuss the next topic that is back patching so first we discuss what is back patching and why we use back patching and after that we uh, with the help of an example we you, uh, we see that uh, how back patching is applied to a three address code so if we define back patching then it is said to be the it's a activity of filling up any unspecified information of labels with appropriate semantic action in during the code generation process okay so as we already discussed that how we uh, generate a three address code for a particular expression in that if we are uh, using any uh, unspecified uh, unspecified labels or you can say if we are using any jump statement okay in that jump statement we are assigning some Uh, if uh, if we if the value if a loop is a true then it goes to somewhere and if it is if it is false then it goes somewhere so that somewhere or you can say that the value which is uh, specified as labels we can filling up filling that labels with the help of back patching okay so this is a first example we take this example that a is less than b or c is less than d and p is less than q if this is the example or this is the condition then we have to uh, generate three address code for this for this expression with the help of a back patching okay now if we uh, first we have to write down the three address code for this uh, expression then we can write it as if i take line number 10 onwards it say that if a is less than b then go to that line number which shows if it is true if this statement is true then it goes to that line number so if i represent this line as 1 it means that this if it is true we take this value uh, true value as 1 now the next line say if this statement is not true then it goes to the line number which is specified for the else part so we represent this as zero now the next line is if next statement we check the next statement that is c is less than d then it goes to that line where it takes a true value then line number 13 say if it is false which line if c is less than uh, d is not true then it goes to that line number where the else part print now the next line next condition is we have to check if p is greater uh, less than q if it is true then we have to go somewhere which shows a true value and we represent it as 1 and the next line is if it is not true then we go to that line and we represent it as 0 so these unspecified labels or you can say no right uh, till now we have we write down the three address code for this following expression but we do not full fill all these labels value so back with the help of a back patching we fill up this unspecified labels with some appropriate action in while uh, generating the code so how we uh, fill this uh, labels value with the help of a back patching we understand in this video okay now if you consider this whole expression there are two operators one is relational operator that is less than and another one is boolean operator that is or and and so we have two operators one is relational relational operator that is less than and second one is we have a uh, boolean operator that is or and end okay so how we solve this whole expression we take it as uh, we consider it as, uh, in, in we consider it in temporary variable for example first if i store this value a is less than b in t1 variable then this it means uh, we first operate on relational operator and store it store the resultant into some temporary variable then it is t2 this 
value stored in t3 temporary variable so we first consider the relational operator now i have to consider the boolean operator that is or and and so and has more priority than or so i have to solve this first and operator it means t2 and t3 and we store it in a result in a t4 temporary variable after operating the and operation now i have to perform or operation on t1 and t4 and the resultant will be some t5 or something okay so this is how we how we perform the operation on this following expression first we operate on relational operator we store it in t1 t2 and t3 then we have perform and operation on t2 and t3 and the resultant is stored in t4 and then we perform or operation on t1 and t4 okay now so uh to label or to fill all these uh, labels value how we back patch or how we perform back patching just see for this first we have to consider this relational operator on t1 t2 and t3 it means we have to first consider first as a is a is less than b so the operator is less than and we perform it on a and b and we store it in a temporary variable t1 then we perform or we operate on c is less than d so we take it another value like this relational operator is less than and we perform on c and d and store in a temporary variable t2 then we have to perform next relational operator that is c p is less than q so we take it relational operator less than and perform p and q and the resultant is stored in t3 now after all the relational operator work, uh, working now we perform boolean operator which uh, first we perform and so we perform and on t2 and t3 t3 and the resultant is stored in t4 this means we have to perform and operation here on t2 and t3 and we store it whole resultant is stored in this whole resultant is stored in t4 like this now after this after and per, uh, performing and operation i have to perform or on t1 and t4 so this is t1 i have to perform or function on t1 and t4 okay so this is how we perform the operations now see here the t1 value t1 temporary variable which is a is less than b see here if this is line is true means the, if the if a is less than b condition is true then it shown on the line number 10 so me it means that the true value for this condition is 10 and the false condition for this condition is on line number false condition is on line number 11 okay similarly consider for t, uh, for this expression c is less than d so the true value is in on line number 12 and the false value is on line number 13 similarly for t3 the true value is on line number 14 and the false value is on line number 50 okay now so first we have to perform and operation on t2 and t3 and the resultant the whole resultant is stored in t4 so first we have to create the truth table of for and operation okay the one the uh, the most important thing is the syntax for the back patching is just consider this the syntax for back patching is that back patch we perform or we show two fields this field show that on which value on which value <clears throat> we get the result 
whether it is true or false and this way this field shows the next quadruple next quadruple so this is how we represent the back patch there are two field on the on the first field we take that value in which we get the result and the second value represent the next quadruple okay now first we perform and operation first we perform and operation on t2 and t3 so we have to create the truth table for that t2 and t3 and this is and operation so if we write down the truth table for and so we shown like this 1 1 0 0 0 and 1 so this is the truth table for and if we analyze this truth table that that for t2 when t2 equals to 0 for this condition as well as for this condition it always gives a false value while operating the and operation once again if t2 equals to 0 in both these condition i am getting the false i am getting the false value for the and operation it means if t2 equals to if t2 equals to 1 the value of and operation must have to be depend on the value of t3 okay if t2 equals to 1 the value of the and operation must have to be depend on t3 so hence batch back patching is required for checking the t3 value when t2 value is t2 value is 1 see it means we have to perform back patch here so we write it down as back patch and we have to take two field on the first field we have to consider on which value we get the result so see here if we analyze this truth table we see that that if t2 equals to 0 we have to we get the result 0 for the and operation but if t2 equals to 1 if t2 equals to 1 we get the the value of and operation must depend on when t3 equals to uh, uh, depends on the value of t3 so hence batch patching is required for checking the t3 value when t2 equals to 1 it means when t2 equals to 1 means it has a true value and which is the line number what is the line number when t2 value is true that is the true value is on line number is 12 so this field is filled with 12 because because as we analyze here that the that the back patch is required for checking the t3 value when t2 equals to 1 t2 equals to 1 means when t2 condition get true value and the line number 12 in the three address code the line number 12 represent that if this c, uh, c is less than d gets true value then it goes to some that line number okay so the first field is back patch equals to 12 now this value or uh, this field is uh, filled with the next quadruple see here this t2 get the value of 12 and 13 the true value is on 12 the false value is on 13 so the next quadruple is the next quadruple is 14 here because after 12 13 the line number will be 14 so the next quadruple is 14 here so for the and operation the back patch equals to 12 comma 14 this means that we it is that we have if there is a line number 12 in the line number 12 the 12 line number is directly goes to the line number 14 so we fill this label as 14 because why will the uh, fill this value as 14 because back patch is equals to 12 comma 14 now again we have to find out the true value and the false value for this and operation so for finding the value of true and false value we have to merge true and false value for t2 and t3 for example if we have to find the true value for this and i have to merge 12 true value of this and this that means 12 and 14 but 12 and 14 but the 12 is directly back patch with 14 so i have to represent true value only 14 we do not represent have to represent the 12th value because the 12th value is already back patch with the 14th value and for the false value we get if uh, after merging false value of 13 and 15 we get the value 13 comma 15 okay 
so the first label we already uh, filled with is unspecified label now i have to perform or operation on t1 and t4 so we have to create the truth table for or operation on t3 and t4 and this is the or so if i performing this 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 and we get 0 1 1 1 so in the same way we analyze the truth value truth table of or we see that when t when t3 equals to 1 we get the result same result means we do not have to check the t4th value but for getting the different result of or operation when t3 equals to 0 when t3 equals to 0 the value of the or operation must have to be depend on the value of t4 hence backpatching is required for checking the for checking the t4 value when t, t3 equals to 0 and when t3 was sorry this one is t not t3 this one is t1 so hence backpatching is required for checking the t4 value when t1 equals to 0 so when t1 equals to 0 means false value for t1 the false value is on line number 11 so the back patching here will be represented as back patching so the for, for t1 the false value zero value is on line number 11 so the this value is represented as back patch 11 comma this field is represented as next quadruple so what is the next quadruple here see the the here the line number 10 after 10 the line number is 11 and the next quadruple is line number 12 so we represent here back patching 11 comma 2 this means on the 11th line on the 11th line this go to directly goes to the line number 12 okay so this is how we perform or we uh, fill the unspecified labels and one more important point is in back patching it only fill the that value or that label which is very necessarily or remaining values the remaining blank field will we do not have to fill this so back patching fill up the unspecified information of label with some semantic action during the code code generation process so this is how the back patching work okay so this is one back patching 11 comma 2 and back patching 12 comma 14 and if we have to find out the true and false value for this so how we take this true and false value see here if i have to find out the true value for the or operation i have to merge this true value and this true value that is 10 comma 14 10 comma 14 and for the false value i have to merge false value of this 11 13 and comma 15 so the false value will be get uh, 11 then 13 then 15 okay so this is how the back patching work okay i hope you understand this and if you have any query then you can ask in our comment section and if you like our video then please subscribe our channel keep watching our video thank you so much